Welcome to the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. I'm Mark Kuntz. Matt Finkel will be joining us momentarily as we're in Spencerville today to talk with the Bearcats. Joined by Spencerville head coach John Zerby. And coach, you look back on last season, playoff year, got the win over Crestview in Week 11. Had to feel good to get that Week 11 win over Crestview after losing to them in the regular season, perhaps costing you a chance at the NWC title. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, when you have to play a, a league team twice, um, I don't know if that's ideal conditions, but um, it seemed like the second time around, it was only a couple weeks later, we were back at their place, and it was like we got to play like a do-over, which was for us, was nice to have a mole again. But, um, and I, I think if, if Crestview and, and us play 10 times, it's probably like five and five last year. It was just that close. So um, it was a really uh, great thing for our program and uh, something that we'll always remember, um, but we're trying to forget it right now as we get going with this season. Well, you look back at last year in the NWC, and we know how tough the NWC is year in and year out, but it seemed like last year with the amount of teams you the conference put in the postseason, there's finally some recognition about how good this league really is. Yeah, it's getting it's getting tougher and tougher every year, and uh, I just, from top to bottom, um, and I'm just very, it's one of these leagues that uh, every week is a week that you have to be prepared, and I know that's like cliche talk, but it just is. I mean, and if you're off your game, you're going to you're going to suffer on a Friday night. So um, it's the same thing again this year. I mean, we know we, you, you spend the off season scouting your opponent and seeing things you did well and especially focus on things you didn't do well. And, um, you know, we're just it's going to be another uh, really exciting year, I think, in the Northwest Conference. Have to be excited about what's your return. A lot of the linemen coming back did lose a few of the linemen, but the, most of the line intact from last year. And we know Spencerville football, you're going to be able to run the ball. With Zach Goki back, that's going to be the key to the offense this year, I think. Yeah, we're, we're a running football team, and um, we have majority of our linemen back, um, and majority of our running backs are back as well, um, led by Zach. And um, uh, junior Calvin Wilson, um, seen significant time last year, and um, junior uh, – Keaton Lotts played uh, in the, the last two playoff games and saw a lot of time as well. We just have a lot of experience, and um, that's a good thing. And uh, you, you like to, to have guys who know what they're doing, who've been around. The great thing is that even at the junior varsity level, and we have been, you know, we didn't we didn't lose a game last year at the junior varsity level, 17 and one the last two years. All those kids are upperclassmen now, and we just even said today we have. 22, 23, 24 guys that can play for us on Friday night. So we've even gained a little bit of depth, which is good. Yeah, I was going to say, anytime you're talking about a smaller school, the depth is going to be a concern. But it sounds like you've got some good numbers out, not only just raw numbers, but some quality kids as playing as well. Yeah, our numbers are up. And, um, you know, like you said, I think sometimes coaches make too much of how many you have, let alone the quality that you have. And um, we have quality kids. Uh, we really do. And even our smallest class, which is our sophomore class, Every single kid is a quality kid and a player that I think will play on Friday nights eventually. So um, we're fortunate. I'm very fortunate, very blessed to have such a tremendous group of kids to get to work with. Let's talk about defense. What can we expect defensively from the Bearcats? Um, I think defensively uh, you're going to see a very similar style. I mean, you know, as far as personnel, uh, we return a lot of kids on defense. We did lose a few good ones. and. Um, but uh, you get a lot of returners, and you know when you do, when you do that, when you return that many, um, things just go smoothly, and and it's not that we want to add schemes or anything like that. It's not what we want to do. It's just that they know how to practice, they know how to prepare, and um, that makes our jobs a lot easier as coaches. A lot of players returning, most of the coaching staff returning as well. I'm I'm fortunate. I just maybe I'm biased. <laughs> I really have the best staff in the league, and. That's just my opinion. Um, not only coaches, but people. And they, they, they really uh, are tremendous to our kids, uh, what they bring, not only as coaches, but just as people. And um, I, I've just, I, I'm, I'm blessed beyond uh, anything I can be thankful for, for the staff that I have. Now, as you add athletic director duties to your responsibilities, does that mean you're gonna need to rely on that staff a little bit more this year? Yeah, I mean, um, there's just already been situations where I've just had to step off the field and have attended rules meetings and OHSAA meetings, and um, I don't think I could handle both positions if I didn't have a staff like this, and they know that. And um, so my, my plate's full right now, and um, 
I'm already stuffed, <laughs> per se. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, like I said, it's, it's going to be really a challenge for me to, to be able to do both well. Um, but fortunately, I've got great people around me that make me look probably a lot better than what I really am. It's certainly an exciting time for the Spencerville Athletic Department as a whole. We see the building going up behind us. Yeah, the building. Um, it's been a long process. Uh, it was completely fundraised by private donations, and uh, we just had a tremendous amount of people who've poured into it, and it's under construction now, and you can see the, the fruits of the labor, and um, I just can't thank our community enough for, for sacrificing for the sake of, of our student-athletes, and um, you know, our children are going to be able to benefit from everyone's sacrifices. Now, as we tape this for about a week into practice, what have you seen so far in that first week of, of two-a-days? Uh, you know, we, we, we've seen some things that are good. We've seen some things that are bad. Mostly, um, uh, you're just looking at little things that you need to correct. And um, our style, both offensively, defensively, special teams, um, <laughs> we're not very complicated. <laughs> uh, you know, we don't do a whole lot, but we expect um, uh, the execution to be perfect. And so it's not perfect right now. Um, and young guys, you know, and, and you're always working with your young guys, they, they need to improve. They need to, to, to uh, feel like, uh, you know, that they're going to be a varsity player someday, so then you start acting like it. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. But, um, you know, every year is different. Every challenge, every year there's different challenges, and uh, we're facing unique challenges this year as well. You look at the schedule, the non-conference schedule, open up on the road against Lipsick, a team that made the postseason last year, and then Parkway and Holgate, three really good teams to get you ready for the NWC. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Lipsick, uh, playoff team every year. Um, you know, we played them last year, and we kind of got on them early. That's not the that's not the team I expect to see. Um, we plan on running away from Gavin Cup. Uh, <laughs> you know, they've just they just uh, they've got a great program, and um, we got some good kids, and we know what they you know what they're they're going to do. And um, you know, Parkway, they're very close to us. They play in an incredibly tough league. I don't think their record is an ever an indication of how good of a team they are. And uh, we don't know a lot about Holgate, but. Um, you know, I know that those three games will get us ready for our conference schedule. And then one nice thing about the NWC now is you finally have got all your conference games aligned in a row, so you don't have to worry about trying to find a, a Week 7 non-conference yeah. opponent. You go Week 4 through 10, all NWC now. Yeah, I think we've always been Week 9 non-conference. So last year it was a three-hour drive to Vermilion. And uh, I just figured out that Vermilion only has one L. I had been spelling it with two L's for years. But anyway, um, you know, yeah, you don't. You, you <laughs> gave them another L last year, so that's, that's what's true. important. Well, yeah. Um, but I, yeah, you, you don't want to be in that situation. You want to play local teams, you want to create rivalries. And now it's going to be really nice that you can go into your league season and that's it. You're just focusing on your league opponent from that on, point on. All right. Thank you very much, John Zerby, yep, Spencerville head coach. We're going to take a break here on the warm up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. And we return to more from the Bearcats here on W. OSN. Welcome back to the warm up presented by U.S. Plastics Store in Spencerville with three Bearcat seniors. Mason Nurse to my right, quarterback safety, Devin Hennon in the middle. He plays left tackle and defensive end, and Evan Barnett is on the end center and defensive tackle. Mason, let's start with you. How's camp been going about a week in? Uh, it's going good. Uh, two days, obviously hard, you know, getting out here, but you know, you love it. You wake up every morning sore, but you're ready to go. You're ready with enthusiasm. Conditioning's first off, you know, you get that out of the way and you work hard the rest of the day. So, you know, we're doing, I feel like we're doing good, but there's always room for improvement. We can do a lot better. Devin, eight seniors on this team. How have you guys taken on a leadership role here early on? Uh, we work really hard uh, trying to get our young guys to uh, work just as hard as we are so in, in their future they can achieve a lot. And our seniors, I say we're doing pretty good in leading our team. Evan, for you on the line, a couple of returnees, a couple guys who graduated. What are we looking at on both sides of the ball as far as the offensive and defensive lines? Um, on offensive line, we, uh, we have a lot of starters. We only have one uh, our right guard is a junior, and he's also going to be switching in with another junior. Uh, but other than that, we have a full senior line. Um, we also, on defense, we have four guys, including myself, who switch in and out at uh, defensive tackle. And so we got we got pretty good depth. You know, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the season. 
Yeah, it's important, especially in, in a smaller school, to have good depth. Oh, yeah. Mason, for you, you guys, Spencerville picked up their first ever playoff win last year, and that's a big deal. What did it mean to you to get that playoff experience? Uh, it meant a lot. It was really special to not only the guys on that team, but the whole community. They really came out and supported us a lot, and it was a lot of fun. And it's something I'll remember forever, but that's in the past. And this year we're looking we're looking to carve a new path, you know, make make some big things happen this year. And that's, that's what it's about. Yeah, Devin, what would you say the goals are for this year? I'm assuming another trip to the postseason. Uh, yeah, we plan on uh, trying our hardest, uh, winning as many games as possible, hopefully getting that NWC championship. Evan, what about for you? What what do you think the goals are for this year's team? Um, I believe we all uh, figured out that our goals to uh, this season is to definitely uh, win NWC. We're definitely looking to that. Uh, go into the postseason as well, like you said. Um, and then also, uh, you know, just just really get the uh, young guys into a, a good mentality to be able to achieve, you know, greatness. Because that, that freshman class, I can guarantee, has a lot of talent. Well, Spencerville's done a great job building a program, and that's thanks to seniors like you, and I'm sure you guys will continue it. Best of luck this season. We need to take a break here on the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store, but when we come back, I'll be joined by some more Bearcat players. Third and final down from Spencerville on the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. We've got three more Bearcat seniors to talk some football. Zach Goki on my right, halfback linebacker. Evan Pugh in the middle, offensive guard linebacker. And Damian Corso on the end, tight end defensive back. Zach, let's start with you. You had a tremendous season last year leading the NWC in rushing. How are you going to follow that up in your senior campaign? Uh, yeah, as a senior year, it would be nice to redo what I did last year, but this year it's all about winning, and I just want to win more than last year. Uh, all the offensive stats can wait, but winning, that's all I want to do. Winning is very important around here. Evan, you'll be clearing some pads for Zach, and heard that the line is a mix of returnees and guys and some newer guys. So how's the line gelling so far? Uh, I think we're uh, coming together pretty well. Uh, our job is to make it as easy for the backs as possible, and that's what I'm going to do. Damien, the NWC, so competitive that the league overall had a great year last year, and you guys ended up defeating Crestview in the postseason. What are you looking forward to about getting into conference play week four, and you know it's going to be a grind? Looking forward to win. To winning? Yes. Is there a particular opponent that you got your eye on? Well, Delphus, obviously, since it was taken from us last year. I feel like we can get it this year. You'll be able to see that game against Delphus Jefferson week 10 on WOSN, along with the game at Crestview in week five. Zach, knowing that you have to bring it week in and week out in the in the NWC, how do you prepare in practice for those league games? Is it any different? Uh, yeah, the intensity is uh, picked up for every conference game. Uh, every, every conference game is a big game because, of course, there's going to be other good teams that are going to try to win the whole thing. To basically, win the NWC, you got to go undefeated, and that's a, it's pretty hard to do. We got a lot of good teams this year, a lot of good opponents. Without a doubt, Evan, what do you think the strengths of this year's team are? Uh, I think the strengths uh, lie within our attitudes. I think uh, everyone has a really positive attitude about this season, and uh, the effort output's been really strong. And as long as we keep that up, you know, good things will happen. And we'll finish with you, Damian. Between now and Week One, what do you think this team needs to improve most on? And we need to improve on uh, being able to. Uh, play throughout the game hard, uh, keep our stamina up, and just every down like it's our first down. You guys will keep working hard at that during the rest of training camp. Good luck this year. Thanks for letting us come by. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. I want to thank all of our guests here at Spencerville. For Hannah Beck and Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.